Hello, this is the fourth video in the tutorial series in making a fighting fantasy style adventure game in AGS. So, um, in this video, we're going to create a character creation screen. Um, so, we in the old books, if you remember rightly, you rolled dice to generate your skill, stamina, and your luck. So uh, we can use that dice rolling manager that we created in the last video to do that. But first of all, we need to create our GUI. So uh, let's design our GUI first. So what I'm going to do is we'll just set this to be black and black. So that changes the uh, sets them to transparent. I'm going to bring in a new image, which is just a full screen image of our player creation screen. There's no transparency. And I'm also going to create a quick room. Um, doesn't need to save the state. And we're going to call this um, uh, Player Creation 1. Because we'll probably have another screen where with skills. Uh, like first aid and various things and hacking maybe and different things like that. So let's change our GUI name. So this is going to be create creation one. So there's going to be a lot of labels involved with this and buttons, <coughs> but we'll we'll get there. So the next first thing we're going to do is let's create a label. I'm going to put that there. Um, text alignment, enter. Make sure it's nice and center. And we're going to call this player name. Then we're going to create a text field. And I'm just going to set the show border to default. Don't need that. And the text color. I'm going to have that as. I've already found this color that I like. Uh, so it's going to be 508004. And it's the same color as this background here. I am going to change the font though. So let's bring in a new font. So we're going to go font. Um, I don't think the font that we have is going to going to work, is it? Well, that'll do actually. That's fine. Okay. So now we're going to have another label that we're going to be setting this color. To be what shall we do with this color? I think we're going to change this to 19079. So that's the same kind of shade of cut green as that. So let's change the font, and it's going to be um, text font. Or does the other font look better? We're going to go with, with uh, text font. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to change the text. And we're going to call this stamina. Uh, we don't need to give it a unique ID name because we're not we're not going to be needing to access this in the script. And this is going to be skill. And we're not going to be rolling for luck. We're going to begin this game with a luck of six. But we are going to have a sanity. That's all three S's. So let's create some a button uh, to roll uh, that we're going to press to roll our new st uh, stats. So I'm going to go to assets buttons and a roll 
I don't know if there's any transparency with this, it's just in a black background. And we're going to set the mouse over and push image to be the high version that we've we've got. Now I'm just going to change that to seven. And I think we'll change the font that would normally be let me lock these. Lock. So uh, we're going to change the font color of the text. And of course, I just copied that. Uh, right, hold on a moment. Let me copy that. I'm going to set that to that. And we will change the text to be roll. We'll obviously need to change the font. And we can change the uh, to middle center. And I'm just going to copy this, paste. Paste. I'll just lock these so they're not moving around. So I'm going to copy that. And this is another label we don't really need to give a unique ID name to. And that's going to be uh, attributes. So this is going to show the display the value that we've rolled. So we're going to have a label here in here, and um, we're going to use this color. Uh, change the font. Uh, I think it was text font we're using. We're going to change the alignment to be center. set that to be zero. Copy, paste, paste. Okay, so I'm going to lock these as well so they don't move around. So we need to give our button buttons uh, unique names so we can do things with them in code. So I'm going to call this roll stab. Um, I'm going to call this one B roll skill. So I've got prefix on that. Yep. And this one is going to be B roll sad and these because we're going to be changing these uh, values uh, from a variable we're going to call this uh, uh, L uh, stan result and this is going to be L skill result and this is going to be Sad result. Okay, we also need to give our text box that we're going to type our character name in a uh, unique name. So it's going to be text box underscore uh, player name. Excellent. So I think what I'm going to do now, just for some giggles, is we're going to set this to be center. Now this little box, uh, what I want to do is, when we roll mouse over these things, it's going to display what relevance these various attributes play in in regards to the game. So skill might you know will be used for combat and various other things. 
So I'm going to change the net label name to to um, I can just leave that as new label really. Uh, because we're going to be changing this again through script. So we're going to call this uh, attribute title, and then we're going to create a new one. Another label which will be the information that we'll display. Just going to change the font to be your text font. And um, this is going to be called our attribute detail. <coughs> okay, so there we have it. There's our our player skill GUI setup ready to go for programming. So we've got our roll buttons uh, for rolling our dice uh, and generating a skill and we'll be able to store it. We'll be able to display information here about what each attribute does. We're going to be able to write a player name and store that. So maybe an NPC in the game can say the player's name. And uh, I think that's good to go. And then we'll code that up and then we'll work on player creation screen 2 which involves skills and storing them and there we go so I'll see you in the next video